Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brandon with Premier Fitness Systems, and I've got Coach Paige with me today to take you guys through a strength training class where we are going to emphasize the lower body. So what you need for this class is some space to lay down, maybe a mat, as well as some light dumbbells. Paige is going to be using five, five pound dumbbells. If you have fives, if you have eights, maybe tens, we could creep it up a little bit. And if you don't, like we've done in the past, we could use water bottles. So I'm going to have you guys grab your weights, and we're going to start with just some tempo squats. So we're going to hold the weights at our side. We're going to go bilateral squats. I want it to be about a three second down, three second up, and we're just going to get a little rhythm. Okay. Inhale down, exhale up, three seconds down, three seconds up. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's perfect. We're just going to slow rhythm. You want to find your feet through the floor. Timer is going. We're going to start out with just a nice minute of reps. Like we've done in the past, these tempo exercises where we slow down, we're able to get some good metabolic stress as opposed to mechanical stress. You guys don't need to know the crazy science behind that, but that is a way to make exercise harder and more effective when you don't have access to heavier weights. Inhale down, exhale up. We've got 20 seconds to go. Keep moving that air. Notice how Paige's knees are coming forward, but she doesn't feel stress. In order to execute a really good vertical squat, we have to allow the knees to come forward. But for some people, they might not quite be ready for that. Let's get one more rep. Perfect, really good. Okay, we're gonna keep the weights. We're gonna go single leg RDLs. So we have the weights. We think about taking the weights straight down. There's a little bit of bend in the knee. We want to keep the hips nice and square. And again, we're going to work time. Let's work nice and slow. Inhale down, exhale up. And go ahead and go. Good. Inhale, exhale. Good. Again, notice how Paige is taking the weights and they're dropping almost straight down as opposed to reaching out in front of her body. And her hips are squared off. So that right hip that's raising, that right leg is raising, that hip doesn't hike up. That's going to be a major compensation in this movement. So a good, a good cue for yourself is to think about that toe, that foot on that right side, and keep it pointed to the ground. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Let's get two more reps. One more rep. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the other side. So now right leg will be down. Four page, opposite leg. Let's go ahead and go. You might find that one side is easier to sit into. That's going to be pretty normal. One of the benefit of the unilateral exercise is that we can work on those imbalances. We're going to work on balancing out that lower body strength. Concentrate on pushing the foot through the floor. Try to find your big toe, find your heel, your little toe. Maintain a good foot spread. Good. Really good. Let's get 15 seconds of reps. One more. Perfect, right there. That a girl. Okay, let's put the weights down. We'll set the weights down for a second. And we're going to lay down on our backs. Feet are going to be on the ground. I want your heels underneath your knees. Let's go arms on the ground. I want you to get that belt buckle to come up. So we're going to execute that poster tilt. We're going to drive the hips up. And I want you just to find your glutes. So we're engaging down through the ground. And let's bring one knee into our chest. 
Try to keep the hips as square as you can. And then we're going to alternate sides, alternate sides. So we're going to drive the opposite knee into our chest. The leg, the foot that's down, we want to drive that through the ground. We're going to continue that marching pattern. Hips stay nice and square. We maintain that. Your hips are going to want to drop. We're really trying to fight that drop. That's all that pelvis stability. Good. Let's just go one more aside. Nice and perfect. Okay, we're going to come back up. So now let's get our tempo going a little bit. So we're going to come back to our weights. We're going to go step back lunges. So you're going to step back and drive. Same leg. And we're going to get as many reps as we can in 30 seconds. So we'll go 30 on, 30 off. As many as you can without stress. We'll stay on the same leg. Oh, okay. Same leg for 30 seconds, 30 second rest, and go the other leg. Ready, and let's go. Good, perfect right there. Notice how Paige has got a good 90 degree at her back leg. Her front leg, in this case left leg, is driving through the ground. Move that air, guys. Inhale, exhale, push. Good, good, awesome. 10 seconds to go. Stay with your tempo, push yourself here, good. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, if you wanna set the weight down, you can. We'll take 30 second break, and we'll go to either side. If you wanna hold on to the weights, that works as well. A little active recovery, you can shake around. If you feel like you're, you're bored, you can do some bicep curls. We'll keep ourselves moving. We have 10 seconds, so we're going to go to the other side. And five, three, two, one. Here we go. Opposite leg, good drive. Inhale, exhale, get those reps. Good. Press the floor away to propel yourself up. Think about pull yourself into the ground, push yourself away from the floor halfway through right now. Good. 10 seconds to go, excellent, good. And break. Okay, again, weights can come down, shake it out. We're gonna go one more round each. So 30 seconds of work, 30 second break. Round two coming up. When you guys are lunging, when you're reverse lunging, think about stepping back and loading your lead heel. So if you focus on that heel, that should get you in a good position to find the glutes, find the quads, and we're trying to keep that, that head stacked over the butt. So we don't want to end up in this really extended posture. Okay, here we go. Round two. First leg, one more time. Let's see if we can't ramp up our tempo. And go. There we go. There we go. Good pace. See if we can match Paige's pace. She's got a great pace here. Good, perfect, that a girl, perfect. Halfway through, excellent. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and break, 30 second break. Then we have the last set on our second side. Breathe, heart rate should be up a little bit. You're trying to bring it down. We're gonna to try to get good nasal breathing as quick as you can. Follow your breath in and out. Bring your heart rate down before we go. We have 10 seconds and we're gonna hit it again. Five seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Good push, good push, awesome, good. Stay with Paige, guys. Keep that tempo up. 10 seconds in. 20 to go. Push. Good. Push. Perfect. Good. 10 seconds to go. 
Five seconds to go. And break. Perfect. Let's set our weight. Set the weight down. Let's go ahead and lay down on our backs. We're going to go to our breath. We're going to slow our heart rate down. We're going to breathe. Once you can, get nasal. Emphasize your exhale. Good, slow exhale. And we're going to integrate some core. So now I'm going to have you guys float your legs at a 90. Okay, and let's reach to the ceiling. Your head is going to stay down on this reach. We're going to go dead bugs. So it's going to be a right arm, left leg reach. Good. Come back to the center, switching sides. Let's start this one out really slow and strong. Connect with your midline, your low back being engaged into the ground. You are preventing your body from extending as your levers get long. That's where that core comes in. If you think about that, core is midline support. Extension here would be the arm and leg goes long and page starts to arch. We want to maintain that non-arched posture. Good, we're going to get a few more. Good, lock into your breathing and use that core. Good. 10 seconds. Three seconds. And relax. Perfect. Okay, let's pop up. So now we're going to get a lateral lunge. Okay, we're going to again work some tempo. So Paige is going to step right. So let's go right first. The weight is going to split her loaded leg. She's going to come back to neutral and then she's going to go again. So let's go ahead and get it, get it rep in or two reps to just show. So step, perfect. That's really good form. Do it one more time for me, please. Okay, we're lined up, knees over ankle, over big toe. Her midline is over that leg. Okay, we're avoiding being super extended. 30 seconds of reps, ready, and let's go. Good, press the ground away. Again, bring in a little bit of tempo right here, guys. Once you feel it, press the floor away. Think about pulling yourself down into the position. Press the floor away. Good. Find your heel. Find your big toe. Engage through the ground. Perfect. Perfect. Five seconds of reps. And break. Good, this time we'll take even a shorter break. We're gonna go 15 seconds and we'll go into that opposite side. Knee over the big toe, center of your hip over the knee, sternum over the knee. Everything gets shifted over that side. Ready, and let's go. Opposite leg, good, push. Pushing the ground away, good. Perfect, inhale, exhale, stay with your tempo, stay with your reps. Pull yourself into the ground. Push yourself away from the ground. 15 seconds in. We're halfway through. Five seconds to go. Stay with it. Great, 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 great tempo. Good job. And break. Perfect. Okay, let's go hands and knees. And our recovery here is just going to be a slow cat-cow. Slap cat-camel. What is the right way? Cat cow. Paige happens to be an excellent yoga coach, so she would know that. I am a novice when it comes to yoga. So there is good extension. She's going to bring her whole body into flexion. It's a good active rest. We're getting blood to the spine. As we're slowing down heart rate, we're integrating some light movement. Work another 30 seconds of just light cat cows. You can even add a little bit of twisting in on this, what feels good. Learn to feel your body, learn to tap into your body. And 
and relax. Perfect. Okay, let's take one of the weights. Okay, now we're going to step into our lunge. So it's going to be reverse lunge, and we're going to get out of rotation. You can take the weight long, which is going to be harder. You can keep it at your chest. So we'll step back for the same leg. Boom. Rotate over top of the leg that's loaded. Okay. 30 seconds of reps. Ready. And let's go. Good. Step back into it. Perfect right there. She's loaded left leg. She's rotating left. We're always going to rotate over our lead leg. Nice. Good job. Good. 20 seconds in, guys. Stay with it. You're only going to get one set of these, so let's lock them in. Let's make them good. One more rep. Perfect. This one, no rest. We're going to go right into a second leg. Good. Strong. Good. Nice rotational lunge. Don't allow the knee to move. The knee and thigh is going to want to rotate with your upper body. Lock it down. Don't let it move. We have 15 seconds. Learn to disassociate your upper body from your lower body. Think about pressing the foot through the ground. Let's go. One more rep. And relax. Perfect. Let's put the weight down and let's go back to those cat. Camels, cat cows, oh. cat cows. <laughs> nice and easy. Because the cow, the udder is hanging down, so in India, you know, they kind of have to do that. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Good. Breathe, breathe through this movement here, you guys. Stay with that position, nice and easy. Let's go up into flexion, and we'll hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Perfect. There we go. We'll call that a day for our lower body strength session. Appreciate Paige helping me out. Appreciate you guys. Like I've said in the past, if you want more, start the video over, go through again. You could even go through a third time. But if you really engage into this and put your intention into this, a good 15 minutes will work. We'll look forward to seeing you next time, and thank you very much.